Today I'm going to show you how to get a metallic effect like the one you see on your screen now to make a coin or any type of other metallic object. Okay, so on this screen, new document, I have that drawing from the coin already outlined. I outlined it with a mono line brush so it would be a nice, clean, even line. And for the circle of the coin, I also have that as a separate layer. So I have the coin totally with the drawing in it, and I have the outline of the coin in a circle on a separate layer. To start, I'm gonna make a new layer above layer one where the actual drawing is. And I'm gonna use greens for this um, effect. You can use any colors you want. You're just gonna use lights and darks of that color. I'm also using the brush pen under calligraphy because I can get the brush pretty big. And all I'm gonna do is take different shades of green and cover the entire outline with it. So I'm gonna go some lights, some darker shades. I also wanna use some shades that are near black and near white. So almost as light as it'll go. I don't wanna have this be the dominant color, but I do wanna have some lights and some really darks in the mix. And you wanna cover most, if not all, of the drawing or outline. So now what I'm gonna do is go to the adjustments menu and do Gaussian blur and drag that to the slide, to the side a little bit. I don't wanna completely blur it like that or make it a complete gradient. I wanna still have a little bit of definition, not too much, but a little bit. Next, I'm gonna to go to my layers menu, tap the thumbnail, and hit clipping mask. And you can see I already have that kind of metallic look um, on that outline. I'm gonna take it a step further. I'm gonna to go to layer one where the outline is. I'm gonna duplicate that. Take the bottom um, copy, grab the outline, drag that off to the side a slight bit to give it that kind of embossed or 3D look. Kind of give that little shadow to the edge now I'm going to go to that um, outline, the circle outline, and I'm going to fill that in a color. doesn't really matter what color it is at this point because I'm going to be doing the same type of idea with the clipping mask to that layer. So I filled it in. Going to make a new layer. Same thing as before. I'm going to take different shades and fill in that layer completely. Now if it's easier, you might want to um, hide that layer underneath just so you can see where the shades are that you're going and what you've colored. Or you could have done this layer before filling in that bottom layer. But this time I'm going to color in the whole entire circle. And just like before, light shades, dark shades. And I want to get some almost white in there and almost black in there. I'm going to put the white and black kind of near each other. Then I'm going to hit it with Gaussian Blur just like before. Blend it a little bit more this time. And then Clipping Mask. And I forgot to turn that layer back on, so I'm gonna do that again. So let's go back. So I'm gonna turn that layer back on. Now hit it with the clipping mask. And there you go, that gives it that coin-like quality. You can blur it a little bit more if you want to. I think I'm gonna blur it a little more. To get it the effect you want but that's how you can get a metallic looking effect to make a coin or something else um, using Procreate. Hope you like this video. If you do, please consider subscribing, liking, ringing that bell, and I'll see you next time.